Today's topic is how to write the Verilog HDL code for carry lookup head adder using data flow model. So before I start to write the program, first I clearly explain what is the difference between carry lookup head adder and ripple carry adder. So in ripple carry adder, the first one bit adder circuit. So first full adder circuit carry output is given to the input of next full adder circuit. So carry in. But in carry lookup head adder, so simultaneously it provides the carry values. Just you applying the input value initially, you applying the carry input value. So automatically it find the carry value. Finally it produces the result. So it's a major difference between carry lookup head adder and ripple carry adder. So now I go to draw the block diagram of carry lookup head adder. So it's a four bit carry lookup head adder. So I draw. Four one bit adder circuit. Third adder, and next one is fourth adder. So one, two, three, four. So here I am taking four one bit adder circuit. So here first input is A naught and B naught. So these two inputs are given to first adder circuit. Then next input A one, B one. Then A two, B two. Here A three, B three. So bottom of the circuit is carry look right generator. So carry, look, a height, generator. So this block is generating the carry values. So these two inputs are generated two outputs. A naught and P naught is generated two outputs. The namely called as P zero and G zero. So P zero represent so P represent propagate, G represent generate. So this is the carry value C in here C naught. So C naught equal to C in. Both the values of same value. Then this full adder circuit is generating two outputs. One is sum, and another one is a carry. So carry value represent C zero, sum value represent S naught. So S naught represent sum, C naught represent carry. P and G represent P for propagate, G for generate. Then second adder circuit A one and B one generate. Two outputs that namely called as P1 and G1. The carry one is applied to second adder circuit. So what is the equation of carry one? So carry one equal to the G naught, G naught plus P naught into C in. So C in or C naught, both the values are same. So it's a general formula for carry lookup head adder. Then S one. So S one represent sum. If you want to find the sum value, so sum formula is P X or C in. So it's a sum expression. So sum equation. So using this sum equation, we can find The sum one and sum zero, sum two, sum three. Then we go to find the third full adder circuit. So here this A two and B two produce two output. That namely called as P two and G two. Then the corresponding carry value is C two. Output of this full adder circuit is S three. Then now I find. The C two value, so C two expression is G one plus P one into 
C1. So P1 dot C1. So based on the previous value only, the carry is generated. So after generated, this carry is given to third circuit. Then fourth circuit, come to the fourth circuit. So here also these two inputs generating propagation signal and also generation signal. So C3 is a carry input of uh, 4. Now we find the C3 value. So C3 equal to we check the previous value. So previous value generation G2 plus propagation P2 dot C2. Carry. Then some outputs S4. The final output is C4. So C4 or C out. Here C4 value is so previous value G3 plus P3 dot C3. So this is the equation for carry and this equation used to find the sum values. Then propagate and generation. So propagate equation is A XOR B. So this equation is helpful to find the propagation value. Then G is a generation. So how to find the generation? We can use this instead of equation G equal to A and B. So A and B. So far we discussed the block diagram of carry right adder and the, the expressions for carry sum and propagation generation. So now I am going to write the value of HPL port for carry lookahead data using this simple expressions. Some expression is P X of C in. This four expression is used to find the carry 1, carry 2, carry 3, carry 4. Then P propagation value A X or B generation value A dot B. So now I go to write the program. So as usual we write module then module name is carry look ahead add C L A so C L A is a module name then I declare the input variables and output variables used for this carry look ahead add so input variables are A B C in then C out sum so these are the variables used in the block diagrams so here, now I write the input variables. So input variables of A, B, C. So this A and B represent in vector manner because it's a 4-bit carry look ahead adder. So 3 is to 0, A comma B. Then another input is C in. So it's a single input value then I declare the output so output variables of C out and sum here sum is represent vector so 3 is to 0 yes and another output C out then wire so in this block diagram, we can use two wire signal. The first wire signal is propagation signal. P0, P1, P2, P3. Then generation signal G0, G1, G2, G3. Then another wire signal carry C1, C2, C3, C4. So these two signals are used for wire. So first wire signal represent propagation signal, then generation signal. Second wire signal represent carry value. C1, C2, C3, C4. Now I go to the operation. So first one assign. I find the propagation value. So P0 to P3. So assign P0 equal to so what is the formula? P equal to A X of B. So first I find the P0 value. So P0 equal to A0 X of B0. So it's an expression for P0 value. 
then next we find P1. So P1 equal to A1 X or B1. Then P2 equal to A2 X or B2. Then P3 equal to A3 X or B3. So propagation signal over then I go to find the generation signal. So assign G0 equal to so G expression is A and B. So G0 equal to A of 0 and B of 0. Then G1 equal to A1 and operation B1. G2 equal to A2 and B2. G3 equal to A3 and B3. So now we find the generation value. Then I go to find the carry values. So after finding the carry value, we can go for sum. So now I write to find the carry value. So assign C1 equal to So first I find the carry 1 value. So what is the formula for carry 1 finding carry 1? G0 plus so or operation then P0 and operation with CN. So this is the equation to find carry 1. Then next I find carry 2. So carry 2 value in the sense here formula is G1 or operation P1 into C1. So P1 into C1. So here C1 value is G0 plus P0 dot C in just to substituting this value into in this equation. So G1 plus P1 dot C1. I substitute the C1 value here. G1 plus P1. So C1 value is G0 plus P0 dot C in. Just to multiply P1 value with this value, you can get the equation G1 plus P1 dot G0 plus P1 P0 C in. So this is the final equation for C2. So I am taking this expression in this program here. So C2 equal to G1 or operation P1 dot G0. So P1 and operation with G0. Then or operation P1 and operation P0 and operation C in. So this is the formula to find the C2 value. Then I go to find C3. So C3 formula is G2 plus P2 dot C2. So G2 or operation. So this P2 value is multiplied with C2 value. So I write here P2 and operation. So I am getting the expression from here. So P2 and operation with G1. Then so P2 is AND operation with here. So P2 and P1 and G0. Then OR operation. Then here P2 AND operation. P1 AND operation. P0 AND operation. C. So this is the C3 expression. Just you multiply the P2 value with C2. This carry value. Then now I go to find C4. So C4 formula is G3 plus P3 dot C3. 
that's why C3 value is product with PT. So first I write G3. So G3 or operation. So or operation with P3 dot C3. So here I am taking this expression. So P3 and operation with G2. Then P3 and operation with this product. So P2 and G1. So or operation. Then I take this term. P3 and operation P2 and P1 and G0 or operation. Then final term is this. So P3 and operation P2 and operation P1 and P0 and C in. So now we find the carry 1, carry 2, carry 3 and carry 4 values. C in. Now I go to find some value assign yes not. So some formula is P X or C in. So P0 X or operation with C in or C G. Come on. S1 equal to P1 XR C1 S2 equal to P2 XR C2 Just using this formula we can write it here So S3 P3 XR C3 So we find the sum value S0, S1, S2, S3 then finally, we find the carry out. So, C out equal to C4. This C4 value is assigned to carry out. I close the module using the instruction in module. So, this is the simple way to write the carry look ahead data using rail of HPL code. If you are familiar with this formula, you can write the program. So very easy. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.